Hey guys, welcome to part one of the CES 2023 vlogs. And it's all about the press conferences. There was a lot more this year, so we have a lot to dissect and rate based on how entertaining they were. And to say I was disappointed this year is an understatement. Let's find out why! The first press conference was from CES themselves. They started by welcoming everyone back, and talked about some of the tech that will be heavily featured at CES this year. And as expected, just like last year, it was a snooze fest. So I had to make my own entertainment. The room was full of professional journalists, by the way. But then it became slightly less boring when he started talking about the metaverse. The online virtual world that is still treated as the butt of many jokes. Any dialogue these days around metaverse is very likely to be met with skepticism. You'll hear and see a lot more about the metaverse at CES this year than last year, but just like a lot of people, I'm still not sold on it yet. More sleeping aids, and then he starts talking about gaming. That's me! 24 hours on average per week spent gaming. Now, My life is possible. like a video game. Well, think of entertainment, escapism, some competition if you like Fortnite. Charles. If you like Fortnite, we like, like Fortnite. Fortnite. But he had to ruin it by going back to the... Metaverse. I've heard enough. Much success at the show. Thank you. Boring as expected, but was slightly entertaining when he kept on comparing the start of the metaverse to the start of the internet. This is a real trend, just as the internet was a real trend in the early 1990s. What do you guys think? Is he spitting? I'd rate that press conference a 2 out of 10. The next day was press conference day, and I was almost late for it. Lots of press conferences happening at the same time, so I had to make some tough choices. For the first set, I chose LG because I have a couple of their TVs, and they're decent. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the LG World Premiere. They started out by bragging about how sh** our lives would be without them. Then they brought out the CEO of a terrible streaming service. <laughs> Not off to a great start. Increased from last year, a common thing you'll see now in a lot of these press conferences is them pretending to care about the environment, and usually it goes on for way too long. Just like this movie about how LG screens aren't racist, are good for the environment, and somehow the metaverse also fits in. I wish I was making that up. LG screen makes it fit for everybody, mindful for our environment, and into metaverse. Let me consume! So, are you curious to know what's new this year? Yes! Yes! That's what we've been waiting for! First up is a wireless OLED TV. Just for the inputs though, you still have to plug it into an outlet. Oh wow! You'll also see and hear a lot about AI tech at CES this year. I promise. Award-winning original shows. This isn't what I meant when I said I wanted to watch a live Apple product reveal. Wow, I'm sold on it now. Surprisingly, there wasn't much NFT talk at CES this year compared to last year. I wonder why. Then they went batshit insane. First with the introduction of a fridge it can change to be any color. I've always wanted to get a seizure from the fridge. Maybe I'm being too harsh. It's kind of growing on me. The music collection allows you to play music to suit your mood and create ambiance while preparing dinner. Soiled it! Soiled it! So let's move out of the kitchen and into the club. <laughs> then they revealed a display case for shoes that can also keep them fresh somehow. LG Styler shoe case and shoe care. Can't wait to put these shoes I've worn since high school on display. And finally, they revealed a table that's also an air purifier, and somehow turned it into a talking point about protecting the environment. I wish I was making that up. Just one of our many efforts to preserve resources, protect the environment, and help create a better future. Enough pro-environment garbage! Can we get an anti-environment quote? We love cars. Yeah! Take that, bicyclists! But are you happy with the time you spend in your car? Yes. They talked about some future car tech, but the only thing I can think about is who is that happy when their car breaks down on the side of the road? I probably should have paid more attention to the 1984 social credit tech. 
after weirdly gushing about their logo for way too long. Again, I wish I was making this up. That smile and our logo is not there by accident. Our visual has gotten even more lively. Smiling, it is an expression of our work. The fever dream finally comes to an end. Thank you and enjoy CES. Imagine falling and breaking your hip just cause you wanted to take a photo of the funny color fridge. Honestly though, this press conference wasn't that bad. It was flashy, and some of the product reveals were interesting to say the least. 4 out of 10. Cutting in line? Is this press conference that good? It's Hisense, and I only know them for making cheap TVs. I don't know why a countdown is needed for that. President Hisense USA. The first presenter sounded tired and bored, and I don't blame him due to the material in the script they fed him. Vertically integrated company that invests in manufacturing, research and development, Hisense became the second largest TV manufacturer globally based on shipments. Was there supposed to be an applause after that flex? Obligatory AI mention? And the second presenter acted like he wasn't mic'd up. Diverse range of products, allowing us to cater for as many different settings. But no matter how loud he was, I have no idea what these specs mean, so all of their product announcements made me snooze. Maybe we can wake everyone up with this movie! Who thinks size is important? I meant TV size. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What did you guys think I was talking about? The laughter was dangerously deafening, so I had to mute this audio. So go tell the world! After being verbally assaulted, I expected the applause to be deafening, so I had to brace! This is an exciting time. The original presenter is back to hype up the crowd with another epic product reveal. Whoa! What could it be? More cheap TVs. The audience is left speechless! As you can see. I don't want to slander him. He did make the audience go wild with this announcement. With prices starting under $500. Mm. Whoa. Everyone. It is great news for anyone who loves to be entertained. He's talking about this press conference ending soon. But wait! They have one more epic product reveal! Can you guess what it is? More cheap TVs! Who could have foreseen? really need an applause sign. As you've heard from Steven. Even the presenter is falling asleep. Along with the clarity. Sorry, along with the clarity. I am excited. For what? This press conference to be over? Thank you. Yep, that was when the applause was the loudest, so I'll just leave it at a 1 out of 10. The next press conference is Panasonic's. I don't remember the last time I used a Panasonic, so I'm not expecting much. They really want you to know where you're at. They also hired a DJ and had an epic countdown. Plus, all their presenters were fun and full of energy. Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? Good morning! Hey, there you go, you can say it back and welcome! Hi, Sense, take some notes. Maybe this will be the first press conference that's good. Never mind. They spent the majority of it talking about the environment. Better capture this snooze fest in 4K. No offense, but this celebrity appearance doesn't give it any extra points. To undermine the future of our children. Somehow AI squeezed into this one too. I had more fun watching the lady with crazy hands. Then they announced some environmentally friendly products. Thanks to Panasonic's innovative Nano EX portable air purifier. The planet is saved! Also with the help of this versatile vibrator. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use the same stick to shave my ass hair, then stick it into my mouth. So we're offering a discount on the multi-shape when they send in their used electric razors or trimmers. Wow! Recycling? Your perfectly working electronics to upgrade! Climate crisis solved! Never mind. 
They added more useless plastic. Then they awkwardly transitioned to announcing non-environmentally friendly products. Just look at how much plastic is used in that bottom bezel! Gross! New cameras too! Don't really have any snide remarks about them. Can't diss charity either. I would like to announce that right here, right now at CES, we're donating an additional $23,000 to celebrate our partnership. Thank you so much. Whoa! Don't bankrupt yourself, Panasonic. And to close it off, they announced that breakdancing is going to be in the 2024 Olympics and their Technics turntables are going to be used there. But if you didn't notice the PowerPoint button still on the screen, they're not that tech savvy. Which came to a climax when they tried to play music on their turntables, but only a faint noise came out of them. Let's fire up the SL100. <laughs> they fixed the problem by holding up a microphone to the faint noise and it sounds great! <laughs> Wow! I feel like I'm at the 2024 Olympics already! <laughs> they might have to change the script. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the Olympics is looking for another turntable company to sponsor them as we speak. Have an awesome, incredible CES everyone, thank you! I felt bad for everyone on stage, so I give this press conference a 3 out of 10! That was being generous. The next press conference we went to was Brunswick. The only reason I wanted to go to this one is because I thought it was the bowling company and I wanted to see what bowling tech they would show off. We are the by far the largest recreational ring company in the world. Turns out it was a boating company, which explains the hats they were handing out at the entrance. I have no interest in getting into this lifestyle yet, so we decided to leave early to get our free media lunch. And good thing too, cause the line grew exponentially after we arrived. I don't think it would be fair to rate that press conference, so I won't. Lunch was good though. The next press conference was Canon's. I used to enjoy using their cameras a lot more back then, but they have been mid as of recently. The only thing more mid than their cameras was their press conference last year. Let's see if they improved this year. This free stuff isn't earning them any extra points. And this isn't how Countdown should work! Welcome to the 2023 Canon CES press event. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Not off to a great start. Please welcome Mr. M. Night Shyamalan. Ooh. <laughs> Never mind! Now this celebrity appearance actually earns them some extra points. He's here to promote his new movie, because it was shot on Canon cameras. Knock at the cabin. That's the name of a movie. <laughs> After watching the trailer, I don't have any interest in seeing it, but it was cool to see the director in person. Then they moved on to talking about their VR video chatting that makes it seem like the other person is really there. Let's take a look. Ugh, it needs some polish it. Never mind! It's perfect! Then they moved on to talking about their 360 camera system that lets you watch sports at any angle you want. I also missed this really funny moment, so I just stole this part from their official livestream replay. How many sports fans do we have in the room? Raise your hand. Sports, just about everyone likes sports. The metaverse also got a shout out here. The kids who are interested in the metaverse. Even after knowing no one cares, they spent way too long talking about sports. How free, free, uh, free view- Move on! And they did! With their first AR headset, which seems interesting. You can use it to see people who aren't actually there in the same room as you. That already happens for me every day, so I don't need it. But I've never hallucinated a Lexus before. Yeah! Run her over! 
I need this headset now to live out my fantasies! <laughs> oh, time for my meds. Then M. Night Shyamalan promotes another canon product I don't care about, his new movie once again that I don't care about, and he comes back out to close out the show. It was decent, but it was carried heavily by a certain someone, so I give this M. Night Shyamalan press conference a 4 out of 10. Thank You're you. welcome. Please enjoy. Thank you very much. Next up is Samsung. Last year, they were the main event and had a larger stage. What happened? Still pretty popular though. We tried to sneak into reserved seats because we saw other people doing the same, but we were unsuccessful. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, oh, sorry. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm glad we had to sit further back though because they decided to start off the press conference by making everyone go deaf. Welcome to CES 2023 and Happy New Year. Is this an ecosystem or hell? But first, just like last year, we have to suffer through a long section of pretending to care about the environment. You'll reach net zero faster if you just close up shop. Cool, but who asked? Oh shit, the government's here! Can't be seen, can't be seen! Of course AI is forced in somehow. Mmm, is anyone else getting hungry? Alright. Moving on to the stuff people actually care about. Like needing everything in your home to connect to Wi-Fi. I don't think I need my watch to communicate with the range or dishwasher. Is there any job AI can't replace? My quiche is ready and it looks amazing. That's pizza. How complicated do you want your fridge to be? I can follow the recipe while catching up on my favorite show. I guarantee a tablet would be much better. Because it can actually be moved anywhere you want! They also announced a box, and that you can get rid of another box, thanks to their partnership with Philips Hue! They announced that Samsung TVs can sync with Philips Hue lights without needing a sync box. All you have to do is download a $130 app that is tied to one TV. So good luck if that TV breaks or if you want to upgrade. What's this? Another crypto scam? You've just seen technology. That's one way to put it. I thought this part was gonna be cool, but that render had nothing to do with what they're announcing. Basically, they want the car to nag you more. Yeah, that message popping up on the windshield while you're driving should calm you down. Hello, Las Vegas. Hello. Alright. <laughs> I thought this part was gonna be cool too, but it was also misleading. Basically, they were trying to hype up AI in the most boring way possible. Go clean under the go clean under the table where we had dinner. I mean, for Christ's sake! You show an unreleased robot I want to buy, then it never comes up again. Generative AI, transforming how we create and express ourselves to the world. Uh oh! You hear that? It's all the Twitter artists crying in unison. And to close things off. Technology that will change the world? Basically a feature that helps people with vision problems see content on their Samsung TV better. I'm not making fun of it. Any new tech that helps disabled people is good. But I don't know if I would call it world changing. I will make fun of the editing though. Ugh. Makes me feel like my vision is degrading. <laughs> and that's it. The only thing this press conference had going for it was being kinda flashy, so 3 out of 10. Up next, hmm, a car company that owns a robot company that had a decently entertaining press conference last year, or a company that makes tires. Hard choice! Ooh, media kits on flash drives that I can format! I'll take one. Oh no, I think I've been bamboozled. This isn't the car division of Hyundai, but their boating division. Can you blame me for not knowing that though? My interest suddenly went from much to none. It was still pretty popular though. They ran out of seats, so they just made their employees stand in the back of the room. Must not have been Employee Appreciation Day. The CES 
2022. Now you all remember last year here at CES. When our car division had a better press conference. At least at Brunswick, there's a possibility of me wanting to buy one of their boats during my midlife crisis, but I have no interest in investing into whatever the hell this is. Oh wait, the boats aren't racist? Take my money! Ugh, never mind. Another long and fake environmental piece as if their score won't be low already. This is an exciting time for renewable energy. After that, I just zoned out. I tried going to sleep, but the applause from the back was too loud. You know, where all the employees are? Now it's just a worse version of the Brunswick press conference. With boats that play chicken. Please end it all already! Thank you. Didn't. I'm proud to award this press conference the first zero out of ten. I regret not going to the car tire press conference. I'm taking another formatable thumb drive for sitting through that. For the main event, we had to get on a shuttle to go to the Las Vegas Convention Center for the Sony press conference. I had some doubts about being able to get in, but we made it. I tried hiding my camera, but a Sony employee spotted it, and I thought he was gonna yell at me. Hey, let me see that camera. I want to make sure you come in with the right tools. Sony, good yes. job. Whoo! Good thing I switched from Canon. No wonder they didn't want people seeing their booth yet. They're showing off nudity. I can't wait. Especially since Sony's press conference was the best one and scored the highest last year. Let's see. Happy 2023. Thank you for being here. We also consider our impact on the planet. Oh no! Yesterday, Sony's first nano satellite launched. Woo! It's not about the environment! Oh. <laughs> but then, out of all their video game IPs, you'll never guess which one they're making a movie out of. Grand Turismo. Gran Turismo generated excitement for racing. I'm still convinced it's a very early April Fool's joke. We are so excited to tell you about our movie, Gran Turismo. A very elaborate one, too. It's a movie based on a true life story with heart-pounding action, drama, it's a love story. Oh, thank God, there's sex! What they moved on to wasn't any better. The metaverse is a new space. I'm in a very creative space right now and I'm working hard on a lot of music and all this new emergent technology gives me the opportunity to really be creative and have fun with that. <laughs> I'm convinced the metaverse is also a very elaborate April Fool's joke. Don't believe me? Our sensor-based motion capture system can be used. Moko enables to express themselves <laughs> with a high degree of freedom. PlayStation VR 2. Yeah, they'll fly off of store shelves now. Oh great, more Gran Turismo! GT7 launched last year to critical acclaim. And a five-year-old game that every VR user already has. Hope they make enough PSVR 2s for Earth's population. Ugh, I'm sorry! Don't detonate the PlayStation landmine! Their biggest PlayStation 5 announcement is that you can actually buy one now. I wish I was making that up. Everyone who wants a PS5 should have a much easier time finding one at retailers globally starting from this point forward. Ah! That has to be censored! Oh, Move on to something completely unrelated! Woo! It's their car they showed off last year! Nice! Through our joint venture with Honda. Ugh! I'm sorry, but when I think Honda, minivans come to mind. Can this curtain hurry up? Ugh! 
Now I know how concert goers in the modern age feel. How can I record and block as much of the view as possible? Oh! What's the first thing we should say after that dramatic reveal? Uh, this is a prototype. <laughs> our, our new brand, Afira, represents our concept of an interactive relationship. Oh my god, they want you to f*** the car. And of course it can display ads. I forgot how they even got to this point. At Epic we make games like Fortnite, and at the heart of that is the Unreal Engine. Let's just blame the AI for generating this press conference, because it was an even bigger fever dream than LG's. Thanks for being with us today. Enjoy CS. So I give it a 6 out of 10. Also, I think that everyone did want to f*** the car because we were all fighting to get a good photo of it. Some journalists were trampled in my attempt, but it was all worth it. The main event is finished. But now we have some bonus press conferences to go to. First up is the AMD keynote, and I expected to hate it and find it boring, but it was actually pretty good. Good evening, Las Vegas. How's everyone doing tonight? Okay. We use supercomputers to help change the nature of climate change. We supercharge renewable energy, bridge oceans. Okay. They had a bad start, and every time they showed a number on screen, I had no idea what it means. Because I'm a Mac user. What I loved about this press conference was the energy in the room. Almost every time the CEO said some specs or held up something, there was applause, ooing and eyeing, and sometimes gasping. 7,000 processors. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I didn't understand why, the excitement from the audience felt genuine and not just fluffed up by employees. But it wasn't perfect. What's this? Apple slander? With Apple's best in the middle? Uh, wouldn't that be the M1 Max at the time? I wonder why they didn't compare it against that. I don't think the multiple Macs that were helping you run the keynote would appreciate that. Whoever ran the test doesn't even know how to trim an OBS screen recording. The funny moments don't stop there! Uh, Xbox Series X and S, I'm sure we have some fans in here, ultimately <laughs> powered by AMD. One! <laughs> What's Lele Pons doing up there? Sonic! AMD Ryzen processors and Radeon graphics are at the heart of gaming, all of them. When you think about gaming PCs from OEMs or DIYers, the PlayStation 5, Microsoft <laughs> Xbox Series X and S, about Steam Deck uh, consoles, about gaming services, and we're even bringing high-end gaming to cards with the newest generation of Teslas. And after they start the obligatory AI and Metaverse talk... Um, there's a lot of talk these days about the Metaverse. We decided to leave, because this press conference went on for longer than any previous ones, and we wanted to get to the next one on time. But I think I was there long enough to comfortably give it a respectable score of 5 out of 10! Then we got on another shuttle to go to another hotel for the final press conference. There was a huge line of normies trying to get in, but since we had media badges, we got to skip all of that. Can anything kill the ego? Yep. There you go. Thank you. You too. Well, not you too. <laughs> well, yeah. We also showed up late, so they ran out of seats and we had to stand. Now I know how those Hyundai employees feel. The keynote was BMW's, and it was the best and my new favorite CES press conference. You'll see why. Even at the start, they did a twist on the whole countdown thing a lot of press conferences did. Not a battery. Today is my first big public appearance. I'm kind of nervous. Will people like me? I got an idea on what they were going to announce, and it made me even more excited. Three. They definitely didn't cheap out on the flashiness. There has always been a deep relationship between people and their BMWs. We will lift this relationship to a completely new level. You see where this is going, right? Your BMW becomes a real companion. Yes! Another!
another car that you can f Innovator. Influencers, BMW fans. That's me! An influencer, not a BMW fan, BTW. You will meet the perfect digital car of the future. We like to call her D. <laughs> not virtually. D's not nuts. Not on paper. You just witnessed history! The first person to make that original joke after hearing the name! I was wondering what the label on the complimentary popcorn meant. This is a story about the future. We were then treated to a movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Imagine a story with real machines. They knew that there were influencers here, so why did they have to use copyrighted music? Good song choice, though. Oh, come on, Arnie, that is just sentimental bullshit. And uncensored cursing? Do they want me to be poor? There's also adultery. Bullshit. Stop. Now you're really pissing me off. There are kids watching! And we didn't need heated seats? No! And of course there's heated seat subscription propaganda! Oh no. Oh yes. Yep. My audience probably won't understand this cameo slash reference. Seems like everyone here is over the age of 13 though. This is getting us nowhere. But the car could talk. Yes, I can talk. Guys. Yeah, guys! Hmm, a clean transition into being a play! Can technology like cars provide companionship? I've already answered that! A BMW that remembers with me helps me organize my life, like an assistant or a companion. The tech would probably work better in phones, because you can actually take them anywhere, like you showed in the beginning, but I don't want to f my phone, so continue. Artificial intelligence will support people, not replace them. Yeah! Tell that to the annoying Twitter artists! Because if a machine, a Terminator... What's a better way to ease everyone's fear about AI than having the AI quote a line from a killer AI movie? Ready? So, let's imagine that there is someone who is always by your side. A girlfriend? A partner who makes everyday things easier for you. Oh, so not a girlfriend. Imagine the ultimate companion. Oh, of course. A car that you can f Driving becomes a whole new experience. I knew it! You can decide which reality fits best for you. If it's the real reality or the virtual reality. I'm gonna play GTA with actual pedestrians. Together with me, Dee. Nuts. I am more than a car. I am your ultimate companion. So, where do I stick it in? Don't call her just a car. You will hurt her feelings. So is it murder if I crash her? The best thing since the wheel was invented. Does that include cat girls? Right, D? You bet, Oliver. Oh, I'm sold! Physical experience. And now, Dean, the stage is yours. Thank you, Oliver. It's all so exciting. I'm clapping, so hopefully when AI takes over, I'll be spared. If you thought the budget wasn't high enough, they also brought out not one. <laughs> but two intellectual properties. Just because they can. How does all this help clean up the mess with my lost love? I don't know. Back to the movie. Why are you so obsessed with love stories? What? What do you mean what? what? I'm just asking. Oh no. The AI car can get angry. That can't end well. Just like the movie. When she gets back together with a cheating boyfriend without a redemption arc, and they f in the sentient car. The end? They must really want those extra points! Thank you, BMW. <laughs> Artificial intelligence is creating art and music and writing and all of this kind of things. Yeah! Cope and seethe, Twitter! How about climate change? 
and about global warming. Okay, let's just ignore that part. Life is colorful, but now see yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Great. Samsung made me deaf, and BMW made me blind. What's going on? I can't see or hear anything. The car can give other drivers seizures? Whoa. Next time road rage happens, I'm winning. And the cops can't even get an exact description of the car. I'm sold. But seriously, no matter what they say, is much closer to reality than you might imagine. It's gonna be a long, long time before we see any of this tech on the market, and I have some doubts that it will even come to fruition. Thank you. So, are you going to oh. this car now? Oh. Despite that, I've never clapped that hard or genuinely at any other press conference because this one was on a whole nother level. So I have to give BMW the first perfect 10 out of 10! It was worth being left stranded there afterwards! Join me next time in part 2 of the CES 2023 vlogs, where we'll be getting up close and personal with some strange tech! That's all of that. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.